work just want to go downtown. And make this a safer city. Where's uh? We know how to get things done. We are sick and tired of being sick and tired about life deteriorated properties in this city. <sighs> What are you guys doing? Huh? You're okay. <coughs> hey, Pastor. How you doing? Good. So we really do want you over here. Come on, come on over. Yeah. Hey, Jonathan. Jonathan. Where's uh, where's Micah Thay? Yeah, come on. Uh, good morning, everyone, and thanks. Uh, thanks for being here. Sorry to uh, sorry to hold you up. Um, we have uh, some comments to make with regard to uh, the uh, recently passed uh, cable franchise uh, renewal uh, bill uh, for uh, related to uh, the Comcast, uh, and you'll hear from a series of speakers. Um, First and foremost, uh, there are obviously a number of uh, city council members here. Uh, Councilman Bobby Heenan chairs the Public Property Committee uh, and provided tremendous leadership uh, in uh, this regard. Uh, Councilwoman uh, Maria Quinone Sanchez, Councilman O, and of course, uh, Councilman at Large uh, Bill Greenlee. I want to thank these members, certainly Council President Clark, and all the members of City Council uh, for their diligent uh, review and collaborative efforts uh, to ultimately uh, reach agreement and pass uh, an important piece of legislation. Our team, primarily led by uh, our Chief Innovation Officer, Adele Labib, uh, did a fantastic job in this regard. Uh, also, uh, Tumar Alexander, Bob Merkin, Michael Thay, uh, the Cable TV Office, uh, the Law Department, uh, and all the folks uh, who were involved on the city side the Media Mobilizing Project, and its policy director, Hannah uh, Sassaman. I want to recognize Hannah as well. I'm very excited uh, to uh, be able to sign this piece of legislation on the Comcast Cable Franchise Renewal Agreement. I think it's very important to explain what exactly the Cable Franchise Agreement is uh, before we get into the specifics. Essentially, Cable franchises enable the franchise holder to use the city's right-of-ways for an agreed term of years to operate its system and deliver cable television services. Comcast holds a franchise for each of the four areas of the city, which cover all of the city of Philadelphia. When we started the renewal process more than two years ago, we wanted to do the right thing and we wanted to do it the right way. That meant bringing community leaders, stakeholders, and advocates to the table and focusing on feedback from Philadelphia residents, both Comcast subscribers and non-subscribers. I want to thank all of the citizens who took the time to complete one of our surveys to submit their experiences in another capacity or to attend one of these sessions. Your input helped dramatically to shape our negotiating posture and process. In 2013, I authorized the Community Needs Assessment and its results, a 571-page review of the, cable, of the city's cable needs, and that was released to the public in February of 2015. The assessment was another tool in our negotiating process, and I would note that this was the first time ever that the City of Philadelphia actually used this particular tool and process as authorized by the Federal Cable Act of the United States of America. 
Today I'm proud to say that working together with City Council and Comcast, our administration has reached an agreement that is good for Philadelphians, for our city, and for Comcast Corporation. It will, in fact, help to address the digital divide by providing more affordable access to the city's most vulnerable and needy, needy populations, improve customer service standards, build capacity for and invest in public, educational, and government access channels, and allow the city to do more business online over time using a high-speed, reliable data network for our city government. I want to highlight some of the points in the agreement. Over the next 15 years, Comcast will invest nearly $400 million to enhance customer service standards, to perform cable system remediation, make franchise fee payments, upgrade and improve public access programming, and address directly the digital divide in our city. A quick note on the upgrades and improvements to public access programming. Under the agreement, Comcast will increase funding for public, educational, and governmental access services, often known as PEG, from $8.2 million to $21.3 million. It will offer 11 channels, including an exclusive City Council channel, and cover increased video-on-demand services for these channels. Comcast will expand its low-income Internet Essentials program to include homes without school-aged children at a cost of only $9.95 per month to the customer. It will also add Philadelphia to its pilot program that extends Internet Essentials to low-income seniors who are not connected to the Internet. The pilot offers both low-cost Internet service and low-cost equipment. Low-income seniors will also receive a 10% discount on selected cable services. Comcast will provide grant funding for the Digital Inclusion Alliance, a coalition of partners from the business, nonprofit, and government sectors with the goal of enhancing digital inclusion, including digital literacy. Comcast will launch a virtual customer care agent program in Philadelphia. The program will hire 150 to 200 Philadelphians to work as customer care employees from their homes. And Comcast will, pro will provide the institutional network, also known as INET, to the city. INET is a municipal network that will connect more than 225 city facilities, offering fast, reliable, and cost-effective uh, connectivity for our city government. Over time, this network will allow the city more flexibility and efficient means in the way it delivers services to our citizens, our customers. This final agreement comes as a result of many, many, many months of negotiations between Comcast and the city, our administration and city council. And it would not have been possible without the tireless efforts of Councilman Bobby Heenan and Council President Darrell Clark and all of the members understanding the complexities of this agreement and ultimately passing it. Again, on the city side, I have to give a big thanks to our Chief Innovation Officer, Adele Abid, who led the negotiations and coordinated the efforts across our administration. Let me also thank City Council, the Office of Innovation and Technology, the Law Department, the Office of Economic Opportunity, and the Managing Director's Office for working together to deliver a franchise agreement that will benefit all Philadelphians. And with that, uh, Chair of the Public Property Committee for Philadelphia City Council, the Councilman for the 6th District, Councilman Bob Heenan. Well, thank you, Mayor. And, you know, what a, what a spectacular way to end a year and two and a half, almost three years of, of hard work. And when you're present at one of these bill signing ceremonies, you know that something special happened. And something special just did happen to City of Philadelphia that's going to last for 15 years. The Philadelphia, Camp, the Philadelphia Comcast franchise has already made a difference in other communities across the country. We have the best franchise agreement, the best deal for low-income people in the nation. For the city, 
For City Council, the goal was to expand access to help tackle the digital divide. The Committee on Public Property and Public Works held at least 10 hours of briefings and hearings, and many more briefings and meetings, research, conversations, and discussions that all took place behind the scenes. With the help and leadership from every single member of City Council, including our Council President, especially Councilman Greenlee, Councilwoman Maria Quinota Sanchez, Cindy Bass, and we're joined here by David O, uh, and with the lead negotiator for Mayor Nutter's administration, Adela B. Without their leadership, without the advocacy community, and without the Comcast local negotiating team led by Kathleen Sullivan and Sharon Powell Lee, we were able to accomplish a meaningful wins for Philadelphia, which includes ensuring access to Philadelphia at rec centers, municipal buildings, and other public spaces, establishing a digital inclusion grant fund that will help make a greater investment in tackling the digital divide, putting together new programs, and expanding existing programs that will serve seniors and low-income families by reducing costs. And just as importantly, we were able to energize the national conversation about how, in an increasingly connected world, we can take steps to ensure that no one gets left behind or left out. Again, I want to thank all the people who worked so hard on this, including Comcast and especially my staff. They worked tirelessly. They worked throughout the night to make sure that no detail was, was left behind and stayed persistent on the issues that were important to Philadelphia. So I want to thank my staff personally. And I also want to thank Mayor Nutter. Mayor Nutter has done a fantastic job recognizing great talent and recognizing the needs for Philadelphia. So Mayor, I want to thank you for your tireless effort and working with City Council to make today possible. This was a major undertaking, but it was made easier because we were all working together. I want to take a personal uh, point of personal privilege, finally, about Adele Abib and his team. They did a fantastic job, a phenomenal, a phenomenal effort, all right, collectively working for three years. And this wouldn't be possible all right, if we didn't have the team that the mayor appointed to make today so special. So congratulations to, to Adele, your team, and everybody a part of this wonderful franchise agreement. Thank you. Councilman, thank you uh, very, very much. Um, now we'll hear from um, uh, Jim uh, Samaha, Regional Senior Vice President for Comcast Freedom Region. Thank, <clears throat> excuse me. Thank you, Mayor Nutter. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Just want to, is it still morning, right? Yes, All right, still just morning. checking. Just want to say up front how honored that I am uh, to have the opportunity to lead this region uh, and the thousands of employees who serve the homes and businesses of Philadelphia, which is our headquarters city. We've said it all along, but it's worth saying once again, Philadelphia is our hometown too. We started here, we grew here, we established ourselves as an industry leader and innovator here, and uh, also uh, as the city's only Fortune 50 company. We employ more than 8,000 people in Center City alone, and of course many of our colleagues uh, live in Philadelphia's neighborhoods, raise their families here, uh, and proudly call it home. There's a truly special, long-standing relationship between Philadelphia and Comcast. We deeply appreciate the history and where it has brought us. And equally, we're thankful for the opportunity to continue to serve this great city for many years to come. And we're appreciative of the partnership and support of so many who worked tirelessly to bring us this unprecedented agreement and set, of, and set of commitments that will benefit the city, Comcast, and the people of Philadelphia. So as you can appreciate, this required months of work. I think you've heard several speak to that. And I want to acknowledge the unwavering work of many and thanks uh, several people for their dedication throughout the process. Of course, Mayor Nutter, uh, Councilman uh, President Darrell Clark, Councilman Bobby Heenan and his committee, the full city council, Chief Information Officer Adele Abid, and supporting staff members. Truly uh, a good partnership and uh, really appreciate all of their efforts. 
We thank Mayor Nutter and his administration not only for their work in helping us reach this agreement, but for their services to Philadelphia over the past eight years. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Of course, I need to call out the dedication of the Comcast team, uh, including Mark Riley, Jeff Jacobs, Brett Perkins, two folks you see here, Kathleen Sel Sullivan and Sharon Powell, uh, and so many more from our team who brought great energy, great ideas, and real solutions to a deal that I think we can all be proud of. At the end of the day, this franchise agreement, the separate additional agreements, and other unique collaborations are indicative of our love for Philadelphia. It will ensure that Philadelphians continue to receive exciting innovations from Comcast, like the X1 platform and customer experience improvements, like the new Xfinity stores uh, on Aramingo and Cotman Avenue. I have to have that kind of stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> it will connect many uh, more to local residents to the power of the internet and create hundreds of good paying jobs and other opportunities for Philadelphians and of course so much more. We'll soon take a break from work to celebrate the holidays and spend time with family, friends and loved ones. It is a special time but I can assure you it's made even more meaningful as we officially finalize our franchise in Philadelphia and renew our dedication to the city that we call home. We look forward to bringing our best to Philadelphia for years to come. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you Jim. Um, I'm going to ask Adele uh, to, uh, to come up and speak, and then after uh, Adele, uh, I'll sign the legislation, and then we'll be open for uh, Q&A. Adele? Thank you, Mayor. So uh, part of uh, what's great about going last is that all the great things are, have already been said. Um, I personally, it's rare that uh, we get an opportunity where all the motives are aligned, frankly. Uh, looking at how much uh, Mayor Nutter uh, put confidence and faith in the city team to um, negotiate the best deal possible. Um, council certainly um, was a very strong ally from day one. We brokered what we thought was a, um, a great deal, uh, and then after getting uh, Councilman Heenan and Council President Clark involved, the great deal turned into even a greater deal. Um, there's something here for literally every stakeholder that's been involved in the process. <clears throat> and uh, th this is a very large, complex business transaction, but at its core, is a social agenda centered around the fact that connectivity leads to opportunity, and that's really what we kept in front of us. Um, it's a combination of what we can negotiate formally or informally under the Cable Act, and that's sometimes really um, very dry, basic stuff. The real heart of this deal um, is the ability to take those who've been disenfranchised because they don't have a voice or they're not part of the internet economy and give them the ability to have access to that, not just any access but affordable um, access. There were many days and times and nights where it was so tempting to walk away from the table, frankly. Um, it's not easy to, um, um, for Comcast to negotiate something. They recognize very well that this is their backyard, so they have to make this a, um, uh, a great deal. And at the same time, uh, the city knew that uh, going the formal route may not produce the best results. So um, the best deal that we could really strike is to constantly find common ground. And finding common ground sometimes really has to center around the notion that everybody's not going to get what they want, but the goal is can you get enough of what you want and call the deal uh, to be a great deal. Um, Mayor Nutter, Councilman Heen, and others have really went through a lot of details about what is included in the deal. The next 18 months are really critical in the sense that there's almost hundreds of tasks and activities that have to come together in order for Philadelphia to realize the benefits of the deal. Um, I may have been the front person and the spokesperson on behalf of the city, um, but there's a tremendous amount of uh, folks that were behind me, supporting me every step of the way. Um, Steve Robertson, um, Andrew Buss, Scott Molesky, Mark McLaughlin, Chris uh, 
uh, Chris, Tim, and Jim, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a whole bunch more, but there is one individual who's not with us today, and I couldn't really do this without him, and that's Michael Othay from the Law Department. Uh, he stood shoulder to shoulder with me, and um, clearly as I stand before you, you can figure out that I'm not a lawyer. He is, and, um, and we needed the technical expertise and the legal expertise to kind of uh, really make this happen. Um, it, it's very rewarding when immediately after um, the bill gets introduced, multiple jurisdictions call you um, and are holding up their own franchise agreements because they want to see what Philadelphia got. Um, and that's a very rewarding experience. Um, and, and now the line, uh, the, the, the tagline uh, across the country is, we want what Philadelphia uh, got. So that's, a, that, that's a, a really a recognition of how everybody kind of aligned motives and teamwork um, got us to uh, deliver the public value that everyone um, deserves. May and Nutter gave me a lot of leeway to exercise leadership and to uh, negotiate on behalf of the city, and I don't take that lightly. Um, the trust and the confidence that he put in me will, um, uh, will always stay with me. So um, this is a great deal for Philadelphia, and I want to thank everyone that's been involved to get it to this point. Thank you. Adele, thank you. Uh, thank you for your comments, and uh, certainly uh, appreciate the things that you said uh, with regard to me and how this has moved forward. But uh, you were the guy in the, uh, as the, uh, as the phrase goes, you were the guy in the arena, and uh, in the lines then. Uh, and um, I, I appreciate you. Um, I was going to say this later, but I'll say it now. Um, you know, I've had the opportunity over the years to work with. Brian Roberts, certainly his dad, uh, and we still uh, mourn, uh, mourn his loss. What a wonderful, what a wonderful man. Um, we all know David L., uh, David L. Cohen, who actually just when you say David L., that's who you know what, who you're talking about. And uh, Brett Perkins, uh, Ron, all, all those guys. Um, love working with them, and, you know, we have our back and forth, but we, we speak in uh, the most direct and frank terms uh, when, uh, when there's business at hand. And that's certainly what happened here. But uh, there are two young ladies uh, who I've known in different capacities um, during my time as a member of city council um, and now as a mayor of the city. And uh, there are no truer champions. There are no truer fighters. There are no truer hard workers on behalf of uh, Comcast uh, than uh, Kathleen and Sharon. Um, they work with us, they work with city council, they deal with all the issues uh, that, uh, that come up, uh, and uh, I feel pretty comfortable in saying um, that dealing with the 18 of us just cannot be a stroll in the park uh, <laughs> at any moment in time, starting with me, um, and I'll leave it to the, uh, to the council. If they have a uh, if they have a different view, uh, but um, whatever the request, whatever the issue, small, medium, and large, um, Kathleen and Sharon, Sharon and Kathleen, they are a dynamic duo. They are on it. They make things happen. They get stuff done. They take care of people. They care about the customers. Uh, and some days we're the customer, and other days, of course, the one and a half million people and growing in the city are the customers. And that's just what they do. <clears throat> they don't look for a lot of accolades. They're not trying to be in the newspaper. They're not trying to be, you know, the big, uh, the big women on campus. They just want to get the job done. Uh, and we owe them a big, big debt of gratitude and acknowledgement. Thank you both. And they're always smiling. No matter what craziness we ask them about, no matter what we say, no matter what we do, uh, they do it, uh, do it with a smile and grace and dignity. So I'm going to sign the, uh, the legislation, and then we'll come back uh, for, uh, for some Q&A.
This is uh, bill number 150809, authorizing the city's managing director or his designee to enter into the cable television franchise renewal agreement with Comcast of Philadelphia, LLC, and Comcast of Philadelphia II, LLC, renewing the cable television franchises granted by the city to Comcast for franchise areas one, two, three, and four under certain terms and conditions. It is now the law. Any questions from the news media? It's the best press conference ever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know, <laughs> I don't have to ask twice. Anyway, um, thank you all very much. Thank you for being here. And uh, if you're a Comcast customer or soon to be, enjoy your service. Take care. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Okay, bye, Sharon.